the great challenge of the political process is to harness the collected powers and knowledge of the population for our combined and shared benefit. And that's a process that humanity has developed over thousands of years of political development. It is a way to take power and to control it and to give it checks and balances. However, in this day and age, power has reappeared in a different form, in the form of knowledge and gigabyte memory in servers underground and the ownership of various large companies. This is a tremendous amount of power in the hands of a few and it needs to be reconstructed in order to ensure that humanity is in grip, in hand of its own value and its structures in which it creates value, like to be in control of one's ability to manufacture one's basic and existential commodities and machinery, one needs to be in control of one's knowledge in order to secure the individual survival. One cannot leave it in the hands of tough, powerful groups or of governments to ensure that the individual's rights and their power are preserved, but one needs to create a system, an architecture, which ensures that every piece of knowledge and the branches of the knowledge which goes out from an individual belongs to that individual and the in individual has a, an ability to, to, to control it and to manage it and to prevent it being used or exported or to sell it if it wants so that instead of a company such as Google or Facebook owning one's personal uh, knowledge and identity and imagination, the individual can have it and can rent it out if they choose to, to these companies. And in that way, governments must ensure that knowledge is returned to the individual and the control over knowledge is in, in the hands of these individuals because this is a basic wealth and basic freedom and the basic rights of a individual in a civilization. And this is possible to be done only now through a series of laws which can best be described as constitutional. Those which are which are umbrella, which are superimposed on existing systems, which ensure that the individual is the master of knowledge and the opportunities and everything belonging to the, indivi to the individual is preserved for the individual and cannot be abused by powers of state against the individual.